What is up dude series and grandpa welcome back dudes today we're going to talk about the episode 2 uh, related to tanks I would like to see in the near future in Armory Warfare and um, we have a very special tank it's an IFV or an AFV um, it has a lot of um, abilities this tank and if you guys remember last year we got all of us for free a tier 5 that you could change his turret well i would like to see this tank at tier 8 to 10 to be able to change his turret um and if not to be in the progressive tech tree because it's kind of related to some other tanks in the progressive tech trees especially in the francine de la roche or in the oscar faraday tech tree and if not to be a premium in the battle path uh, i don't know reward as a tier 8 to 9 probably um maybe also 10 but i think that uh, a tier 10 it should be much more of a better iv than the following tank so lynx is an armored fighting vehicle developed by rhyme metal land systems the lynx configured as a kf-31 infantry fighting vehicle ifv that was unveiled publicly at the euro Saturday defense exhibition on june 14 2016 the lynx kf-41 can be configured as an infantry fighting vehicle ifv as i said Command and Control Vehicle, Armored Personal Carrier, APC, and we have some APCs in the game, but they have also, you know, some guns like uh, an auto cannon, machine gun, and so on. An ambulance, which is impressive. <laughs> an Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle, a Medivac Platform, and a Repair or Recovery Vehicle. The KF-41 variant was unveiled publicly at the Eurosatory Defense Exhibition on June 12, 2018. So there are two versions, the KF-31 and KF-41. The 31 is very different than the 41 because uh, it comes, well, the 41 comes with some ATGMs and the 31 just comes with the main gun, you know, that I'm going to speak about it. So um, let's go into details. According to Rheinmetall, the Lynx family or tracked armored vehicle is at the forefront of a new trend in IV design toward armored vehicles with lower unit. I think he is very similar to, um, to put it like this, to some other tanks at tier 8 IV that we have. Like, uh, you know, we have a few of them. I can't sit now and talk because it's gonna take a lot of time but we have some of these you know like Griffin for instance um, so one of the key principles of the Lynx concept is the integration of proven subsistence uh, with a high technology readiness level to reduce development time costs and technical risks the vehicle's ballistic steel armor is designed to protect the Lynx from anti-tank weapons, medium caliber ammunition, artillery, shrapnel, and bomblets. The interior is fitted with a small liner to protect the crew, while the vehicle also features decoupled seats, in addition to mine and IAD protection package that includes a double floor. As I said, it can be a tier 8, 9, or 10 but i would like to see a tier 8 or at least a tier 10 but to be a tier 10 a hundred percent you know no bs if it is a tier 10. Lynx was designed as a private venture on metal to provide customers with a modern fighting vehicle that will be able to counter emerging near peer threats whilst maintaining the ability to conduct asymmetric or peacekeeping operation it was first shown publicly in june 2016 and in the lighter kf-31 configuration the power pack located at the front right consists of a Lipher diesel coupled to either an allison x300 series 6f1 air or rank hswl 256 automatic transmission the Lipher 
diesel is of the common rail type and fitted with a two-stage turbocharger and two-stage intercooler. Power output varies from 755 horsepower for K31 to 1140 horsepower for the K41. So both tanks have, well, it's the same chassis but different turret. But when it comes to a different turret, the engine is higher and obviously the tank might be faster or slower. It depends by the armament. The vehicle as shown at the Eurosat 2016, it's outfitted with a lens turret mounting and stabilized externally powered auto cannon of 30 mm or 35 mm caliber with air burst munition support. This allows the links to targets to engage targets at ranges up to 3000 meters, both when static and on the move. The vehicle main gun has a elevation of 45 degrees and a gun depression of minus 10 with a controlled rate of fire check this out 200 rounds per minute that's <laughs> that sounds quite fine you know i'm wondering what's gonna be the damage if uh i don't know man if uh, it's gonna have around 200 damage to 25 300 uh 300 damage per shot of 200 rounds it will be like the new monster so then griffin the 120 the 50 and the martyr we're not gonna face up with this tank it's if it's gonna be introduced you know the mounting coaxial to the right is the latest rhine metal machine gun the rmg the 7.62 millimeters which can fire standard 7.62 times 51 millimeters NATO ammunition and has a maximum rate of fire of 800 rounds a minute. The turret has a manual backup in case of power failure. So um, if it's gonna be introduced in the game, and I hope so, and if not, then so be it. Um, it will have a, a pause, like it has the M48 GAU or the T. T249 um, IFV, you know, and um, it will have a, a small break so that the barrel doesn't heat up or something like this. The vehicle can also mount an op optional anti tank guided missile launcher, dual Rafale Spike LR2 anti tank guided missiles. This is gonna be a freaking of a tank, you know, um, and it is a freak of a tank when it comes to <laughs> ATGMs. But especially the phrase of non line of sight strike loitering munition, uh, it makes uh, more interesting this tank. So, as it was first di displayed at um, Eurosatory in 2016, uh, has a maximum permissible gross vehicle weight ton of 35 to 38 tons um 7.22 meters long and can carry a crew of three plus six passengers uh the vehicle can reach a top speed of 65 kilometers an hour so it, as i said 2016 is the kf31 so this is the amount of speed that he can get based on that engine and uh, weight itself the k41 might be heavier because it will have also those you know uh atgms so such abilities as squad and so on are perfect for the tank as for me um you know the tank looks quite sick it's very impressive i like the design and so on and i would uh, really like to see uh, the tank in the game possibly in the near future as uh, it is if the developers can implement this tank to have the ability to change the turrets in order to have a gameplay as to some other premiums, um, it might be a freaking good change to say like you can see players with a different turret and expect something from them and you can see players with other turrets and expect something from them also. So you either have let's say 1600 rounds in total or 1200 rounds in total plus 280 gems simple as that or um, 900 rounds with good dpm 
or very good DPM with a uh, 80 gems that can do probably 800 to 900 damage or a thousand damage so there are plenty of options to do and to implement at least to make the game a bit spicy and um, competitive than it is nowadays keeping in mind that the AI is very aggressive so tell me what you think guys in the comment section I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and I hope this is gonna get uh, high as the previous one, the object for 77A. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the episode three.